Hello, welcome to the vlog. Starting this week's vlog by getting a smear test. It's important, go and do it. That weekend was great, very chilled out. Last of the Scottish sunshine, I think. It's really clammy today, but we've got a busy start to the day. Doctors, going to get a pedicure. My girl Chloe, that I go to, has moved. So I'm going to her new salon, very excited. Desperate need of a pedicure. Home for a couple of meetings, and then we're getting a flight. This week's gonna be really fun. Hanging out with JHD tomorrow. I think I'm gonna see some of my friends. But yeah, apart from that, I'm delighted that you liked last week's vlog, the, some Scottish traveling. For those, those of you that have never seen Scotland before, but also I get quite a lot of messages from people that have like moved away and they like watching the vlogs to like just see it. I'm very pink in this light. Oh, it's the building. Anyway, I'll let you know how it goes. <laughs> I'm not gonna lie, it's not great, but it's easy. And it took five minutes to the point where I'm finished so early. I don't know why I put that in my diary for an hour. What was I expecting? <laughs> um, yeah, it's really important you get that done. Like I said, it's not awful at all. It's fine. <laughs> There's nothing like <laughs> sitting spread eagle in front of a stranger. But yeah, you need to do it. You need to do it. Make sure you're all alright. I need to pack. I've not packed any clothes yet. And it's meant to be pouring with rain, of course, when I go down. It's meant to be pouring with rain in London. You'll see what I'm doing tomorrow. Uh, I'm really excited. I'm actually so excited. Oh my god. And actually, it's making me really happy because I know that um, you guys have kind of said the same thing. Like, you're ex you're liking seeing a bit of normal. Like, when me and Jack went down for NARS or whatever. You were like, yep, love this. Love to see it. So, tomorrow's going to be another day like that. This is the stuff that you don't see when things are late. Half an hour, half an hour and it's fucking crap. I've got dirty knees now. I swear, I'm not actually mad. This happens all the time and I'm quite a chilled out person, so it's fine. But this happened like one every four times at least. And I tried to phone the guy and he was like, I'll call you, I'll call you, I'll, I'll call you when I get there. I mean, it's quarter past eight. It's about now that I would usually start doing my nightly routine. I need a shower, I need to prepare for tomorrow. I wanted to film a YouTube video in the hotel tomorrow, but my call time's been changed an hour earlier, so I don't know if that's gonna happen. Is this him? Is this him? It wasn't. Where is he? I'm hungry. I'm tired. There he is. Praise, praise be. Looks like she made it. I don't know what time it is, I think it's half past nine. But I'm hungry, yeah, 35 minutes past nine. Look at this, that's the menu on the TV. I mean, I don't know whether it's just because it's close to me, but it feels like a cinema screen, so I'm definitely gonna have to watch a film. What am I gonna get, what am I gonna get? I'm hungry, but it's late, you know, that way, when it's like a long day. Hi there, can I please order some dinner? Uh, yeah, can I just get a, a pot of hot water with fresh lemon and ginger, please? Can I please have the soup of the day and can I also have the chopped salad? Uh, no, that's everything. Can I have a little bit of cheese on the salad, please? Uh, yeah, just like cheddar cheese would be great. That's great. Thanks very much. Thanks, bye. Do you not think that was such a good choice? I'm quite happy. I feel like that's like, so get a wee bit of bread with the soup and I'll have my salad and I'll feel healthy, but I won't, it won't make me go. I love this hotel, so I'm staying at the Ned again. Uh, I've stayed here. Oh, there's a cool chandelier in here too. So it's quite, it's actually quite big, it's lengthy. Look at this, a cute little vanity situation. And then there's quite a lot of space here and then this little bit feels a bit smaller but in the best way because we've got a nice big bed. Quite like a sleigh bed, you know? And then the TV, when I came in it was flat against the wall. And I've been in some hotels where it's stuck flat against the wall, which obviously it's not like, I, I, I mean, I don't really care, but it's not ideal. This one pulls right out so I can lie in bed like that. Look, it's like, a, it's like being in a cinema. And then over here, we've got like a cute little area. It's nice to have space. I'm here for three nights as well, so it's actually, it's not a super short trip. I wonder what the view is. Oh, cool. I've never really had a view in this hotel before, but it just looks out, which is nice. I like office buildings. I like to see if there's anyone working at, in a, like at abhorrent hours. We go through here. Don't be upset guys, there's no bath, but it's fine, we move. It's okay, the shower's lovely. And I've said this before, but at the Ned you get to 
like try all the cow shed products which I think is really nice and then they've got a little shower here and then the big one I think that these are great for people that have to wash their hair every day I don't I wash my hair literally once or twice a week so I need to use this otherwise I'll get soaked do you know what I mean I do I think that there's something to be said for having a shower like this but in our old house we had a shower like that and then one of these but it was stuck to the wall so you could use it as a shower as well that would be my choice but I'm excited, I need to have a shower. So that was actually a fine journey down. I quite like traveling later, but I, like, I left the house at 4.45 and the, it, it's like five hours that took. Does that not seem long to you? I think I'm gonna unpack my case, get my makeup out. Tomorrow I'm spending the full day with GHD, which you are coming along for. And then the next two days after that are kind of secret. You'll love it though. But I'm going for a really cool lunch with um, one, of, one of my team members. And I'm just excited to be down. It's so strange. Oh, I just dropped a Tic Tac. It's so strange. So I've not been to London for two weeks. And last week all the rules changed. So downstairs in the hotel is full of people having dinner. All the restaurants are open. You don't need to wear masks inside anymore. I went to put mine on and the guy was like, you can wear it if you want, but you don't have to. I felt wrong though. I don't know what I'm doing. I'm not I didn't I didn't have time to process it. He just said you don't you don't need to wear it if you don't want. And he wasn't saying that to be like, you don't need to wear that. <laughs> Do you know what I mean? I think oh I don't know. Are you what's your thoughts on it? I think I'll keep wearing mine. <laughs> Maybe it's different as well. I'm gonna get full of Tic Tacs. But they are so modish. Maybe it's because the rules in Scotland are still masks that I'm like it's illegal, I can't not I can't not wear a mask. Some of the reactions were so severe. I posted a picture of my negative COVID test that I did today. Some people thought it was a pregnancy test. I mean, I don't know how I would post that on Instagram. Like, here you go, a negative pregnancy test. I think some people were just saying, oh, lucky you, I've got COVID, I feel rubbish. And then there's some people like that. Stop doing the tests and feeding into the system. Just let's all be gentle with each other. I need to stop eating these Tic Tac. I need to stop eating these Tic Tac. I must drag. What thing? Is that good light for a makeup tutorial? Is that too much? Because on my phone it looks great. Maybe if I sit back. I think that's quite cool. I'm really proud of myself. I brought this light. Like, these lights are, they're called the makeup light. I've talked about them a few times before. I really like them. Okay, I'm quite obsessed. I've had them for years. I film my YouTube videos with them and everything. They come with this kit that's got like a suction cup. So if I show you it, look. So this is kind of perfect. But the cables are really long, so you could use it on a window or a mirror, like a, a smooth surface. I think it has to be kind of like a glass surface. This is perfect. And I was just thinking, I'm out of the house all week. I really want to film a YouTube video how we're going to do it because you can't really rely on lighting when you're in hotels. But imagine you were doing a bride's wedding makeup and you had this light. I mean, you can see everything. I'm really chuffed with myself. And you know what I've brought? I spoke about this before and um, I got it on Amazon. I don't think I ever talked about this, but see, one time I spoke about Amazon. I did like my haul video. I was on the television because someone thought I was a secret Amazon affiliate, which I am actually an affiliate for Amazon, but I was like, I literally, I spoke about Amazon on YouTube and I was on TV about influencers not being honest. I got a few messages from you guys being like, what are they like? That's actually a bit better, you know. But it'll be light tomorrow. Anyway, I just wanted to show you. I thought that was so cool. Look at this. Does this not look like the best thing ever? Salad. And my pea soup. Let's try that. Mmm. Vegan feta is weird. I actually need to eat this in order, don't I? And I think I've got this thing on at the moment. You know when you're staying at hotels, usually things cost money to like watch films and stuff. It doesn't cost anything just now. Mmm. I'm gonna go and eat this and the next time I see you, I'm gonna eat this and go to my, go for a shower and then go to bed. And the next time I see you, we will be going on an adventure together. How exciting. Mm -hmm. Mm hmm. Morning. I'm just getting ready and packing my bag, right? Look at this. This is the GHD Unplugged Cordless Styler. And I'm delighted to say that this portion of the vlog is sponsored by GHD. Look. Boom. You ready for a hair transformation on the go? I'm really excited. I'm excited. I think I'm actually going to see some friends. 
and we're going for a really lovely lunch and I think it's quite a drive away but we've got um I think we've got like a nice van and stuff like that. It's gonna be really fun. Look at this <laughs> Wow. So this is well. the before, just before we leave, and it's going to be transformed because we're going to do some hair in the sprinter. Oh look! And there he is. There he is. <laughs> Patrick on the TV. Patrick in real life. that GHC have borrowed. Oh my God, guys, it's amazing. I can tell. I'm with Lisa Delboy Potter, Patrick Wilson. We just had the best car, well, yeah, the best car ride. I'm just gonna say the best car ride. <laughs> 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 the best. Oh my God. Drinks. What have you got? Thanks. Look how gorgeous this is, like a walled garden. <gasps> The clue is setting for your lunch today. It's another word for lawn. Lawn. Grass. Grass? Grass? Grass. Well, that's a statue. That looks like grass. Um, uh, this is grass. This is grass. Oh my god, I did it! Good morning. I guess there was so much fun. I nearly cried. I honestly nearly cried. See, when I saw Cece and Layla and Sarah and oh my god, just everyone I've not seen. Here we go. I've just not seen anyone in so long and it was so great. So the event was gorgeous. I don't think I, I'm going to keep the sound on the camera just because it was noisy in the car. But this is the unplugged. And I'm just going to do my fringe quickly. So this is still charged from yesterday. And just to give you some info, the heat it goes to is 185, which is the optimum for a GHD. All tools are 185. A full charge gives you 20 minutes. So you, it's just so easy as well. You can just plug it in. It's got a USB-C charger. So it's the same as your laptop if you've got a MacBook. So you can just charge it on the go. You can charge it off your laptop if you need. Isn't that great? Obsessed. And you should have seen all the girls here yesterday. It was beautiful. You wouldn't believe that it was done by this little thing. It's so genius. My camera has died and I don't have its charger. So we're going to be vlogging on my phone for the next two days. So it's quarter past eight in the morning. I need my shoe. Um, I'm just getting ready to go to the office. Oh, I slept so good last night. Um, I went out for dinner with Samantha, Patrick and Sarah. It's great. We went to hit one of the Soho houses and the food was unbelievable. We just got loads of starters and it was amazing. And then I was at home and in my bed for 11 o'clock, which is pretty good going. I've got some editing to do today. I've got a meeting later about our next campaign shoot. Very exciting. And then today I'm actually working on product all day, hence why I've not got a face of makeup on because I'm going to be playing with a lot of makeup today, which is going to be great. I think the office from here is like, 15 minutes in a taxi, but I'm going to head downstairs in about 20 minutes just to make sure that I'm not late. Oh, that was so great. I feel like my heart is full. After seeing my friend, are they going to hurt me today? No. Okay, let's go. Oh my goodness, look at this food. I know that I've not spoken to you all day, but I know that you would want to see this. So I've got butter chicken and then I actually got just a little Caesar salad as a starter. I just fancy something healthy but then this oh, i cannot describe to you how good this smells look how rough i look uh today was great it was a long day it was just so much fun i love i do love coming down here and getting to work with the team i just need to try this because i can smell it and i need to know if it's as good as it smells i love food so much oh my god there's a big anchovy in my salad i think i hate anchovies um it's five to nine and literally the plan today tonight is to eat this have a shower and go to my bed. That is it, because I am done. I wanted to check and say hi. 
and um, I'm really excited to get my camera back. I don't like vlogging on my phone, I've decided. So I'll see you at home. <laughs> I am not alone. Uh, hello, I'm home from London. I got home last night, charged my camera, missed it dearly, never making that mistake ever again. I brought a micro USB to charge it and it just didn't work. I think our camera is on its last legs, but alas, it is fine. Today, this morning, it's Friday, and we are going to Apercute. Right, I call it Apercute. I think it might be Aperso because the guy that did my satin, I've just said Aperso. So I'm going to ask when we go in. But it's basically, it's just a, a really, really gorgeous plant shop in Glasgow. I don't know if there's many like this. I actually bought this wow, from there ages ago. And this plant was a tiny little sprig and look how good it's doing. So she mentioned that she was going to replace the moss in it. But the main reason we're here is to get this Monstera repotted and I thought that I could bring you. I asked if I could film. I, I went in when I was shopping and I mentioned my Monstera and she and I need to, I need to ask what her name is, but um, she said, we can help you repot the Monstera. And then I just said, I was like, would you mind if I filmed it? And I can ask a few questions because I know, you know, we all try and do this stuff at home and it's hard. You don't know what you're doing. So let's go. So this is the shop. Look how cool all these plants are. You just don't really see these. And I think you can shop online, but I just think, I mean, if you're in Glasgow, it's easier, but I just thought it's so gorgeous. And I'm in early, so this is before the shop opens. And usually there's not big pots here, but we're, we're repotting them on Stara. And I'm hopefully going to learn some tips on how to look after them properly. But I mean, it's, it's all right. It's doing okay. Yeah. It's large, it's in charge. And just all these beautiful plants. They're not rare, are they? But they're just cool versions. Yeah. Some rare ones. Some rare ones. But it's just, it's just such a beautiful selection. And there's always, if you follow them on Instagram, you all, they're, they're so good at posting what's new. Oh my goodness, look at these. They're cool. That's exactly, that's my Monstera, right? Yeah. <laughs> Maybe I should have a family of Monstera. But look, great pots, watering cans. I get very excited. This is where my granny brought me for my birthday present. This is great. Wow. And it's just loads of these things. Like, I've, like, this makes me so excited. This to me is like stationary. I don't know what it is, but I want it. Maybe I'll learn how to use it. Gorgeous candles. And then is this, this is an installation from someone that creates these big fake. Oh, yeah, is it your florist? Oh my God. If you're into plants and you, you like this kind of thing, I just think you need to come here. Amy and Helen are here today with me and we're, we're going to repot this one thing. And I'm probably going to end up shopping. <laughs> so my first question is, see these air roots, mm -hmm. what do they do? Why is this happening? So, um, in the wild they grow up trees. Ah! So oh my god. To cling on, they're like little... Right, okay, little fingers to grab on. <laughs> do you know there was one, there was one like viral video I saw that was a monstera that had grown right up the wall? Yeah. I mean, I kind of want to do that. <laughs> Um, and another question, so I left this because I was going to ask, but do you see that little yellow leaf? Mm -hmm. See when you get something like that, is it best to just cut it off? Can do, yeah. I mean, it's totally normal. Is it? Yeah, totally normal. It's totally normal to lose leaves. Okay, you great. Know, it's nothing to worry about. It's only if you start seeing that through like a lot. A lot of if them. Plant, that's when it's, you know, you want to worry about it a little bit, but little immature leaves. Yeah, it's sort of like cutting off the energy to that leaf to produce more energy to grow upwards. So ah, so it's not a bad, it's not a terrible thing if you're wanting to make yeah. your plant no, grow. No, and eventually all leaves will die off. Really? You know, yeah. Oh my gosh, I didn't They've know got all, like, all got a life cycle, so it's totally normal. Wow, right, okay, really interesting. And then as you can see, so this, I think me and my mum actually reported this ages ago, and it obviously likes its spot, but it's grown off to the slant. And mm -hmm. I think, is this moss pull too short for this plant? I would probably, we'll get one of the taller ones, because <gasps> it gives it more to grow up anyway. Great. Well, um, and it's a bit chunkier, so it might anchor it a bit more. Brilliant. Yeah. And then obviously this pot's far too small for a plant this big, isn't it? Yeah, I mean, we were saying earlier, eventually you have to just stop. Repotting yeah, because you yeah, can't keep going. Yeah, but what I'm thinking, this might be the last repot for this yeah, plant, and then we can. Do. Okay, great. And then you might just be cutting bits off the top to make sure it doesn't. And, but then it'll grow out the way, right? Well, you can propagate those bits, and you know, it's just kind of keeping it okay. sort of trim enough for the root yeah. system and stuff, isn't it? But then you might repot in the sense that you'll refresh the soil. Yeah. It will get through all the nutrients, so you want to refresh the soil, but that could be in like. Yeah, a little cool. bit of sulfur every couple of years. Okay, yeah. okay. A little bit of sulfur every couple yeah. of years. See, this is all new to me. And then, is this a kind of plant that we could propagate? Yeah. Can we yeah. do that? Can we maybe do that today? Yeah, <gasps> yeah. We can totally take a bit off. Okay, yeah. cool. That would be great. I don't think there's a huge amount of new leaves. Yeah. Just talking about the size of pot we've got here and what we might put 
the Monstera in, and there's like there's slightly bigger pots here and then there's the really big one. The Monsteras, you can put them in a bigger pot, but other plants you shouldn't make that jump. So see if you've got like a little plant like, I don't know, for example, like maybe like this, you wouldn't jump to something like that. No. This is, I'm actually learning so much. <laughs> So there's too much soil, so the root system... So the root system has to build it, so yeah. then you have problems with watering, because Over... it can't like, absorb Oh yeah, of course, because it will just stay stagnant, won't yeah. it? The water would just sit in the soil, right, yeah. okay. So you definitely oh, want to go up just a little kind of size. Little steps at a time, okay. But sometimes we'll go a little bit bigger with the Monstera, because they grow so quickly. Yeah. If I have support, do you want to get it out? Yeah. Hold on, and they are quite, like, plants are quite robust, you can... You can like line them on their side and then... Yeah, yeah, I mean like, as long as you're kind of gentle with that. Yeah. Okay. Wow, look. Yeah, you're... <laughs> Do you want, can I help? You can yeah. like, squeeze the pot. Yeah. yeah. So is that called root bound? Yeah. Pot okay. bound. Pot bound. Pot bound root bound. We <laughs> <laughs> still need to know. Hey! hey. Oh. Wow. Poor guy. So do you, what do you call it? You release the, the root ball. Yeah, so you just want to break up the root ball and you do that quite gently. So you just take it and you don't pull anything, right? Yeah, you know, just lightly kind of oh God, massage it. looks like it worms. You know, try and get the wee bottom ones. Yeah. So ideally I should have had this repotted about six months ago. Well, no, because the best time of year to do it is just, just spring-summer. Yeah. Oh really, because so you should repot your plants in spring-summer? Yeah, yeah, always, because it's during <gasps> the growing season. Cool! So, again, that's all to do with the fact that you want the roots to be growing and build yeah. that new soil. So you give them the chance to like recover. If yeah. you, you can do it if it's an emergency. You know, other times of year. But, yeah, so but they might get shocked. Okay. And they might, and they won't be growing as much. So is this healthy yeah, roots yeah. though? There's no root rot or no, anything? No, it looks good. This is all like, so you want it wow. like firm, white. And, yeah. You know, root root. Um, you'd smell root rot as well. Oh, it's then, oh, oh yeah, like, is it, it's, like, um, what is it when you leave flowers in a vase for too long? Yeah. A bit, just like thing? that kind of rotten kind of mass, like organic mass. <laughs> yeah. So look how amazing. So it was quite root bound. And what had happened is in the bottom of the pox, it had nowhere to go. The, the the roots just started growing round in a circle. So look at the length of some of these. <laughs> oh my God. Your hair is beautiful. <laughs> And what we're going to do is we're going to repot straight into this large terracotta. And with this, you just plant it straight in, thinking we won't need to repot, but maybe refresh the soil. Is that right? Okay, yeah. great. Yeah. Oh my goodness. But look at all these healthy roots. So exciting. And is there a, a certain type of soil that's good for monsteras? Mm -hmm. Yeah, you can do a mix of orchid bark, perlite and soil. And cool. Oh, I'm like, really glad that I came here because I would have just put it straight into like compost well. or something. <laughs> <laughs> you can, can't yeah. you? You can, you can, I and there's plenty really. that are in like normal soil, but yeah. it gives it the best kind of ah, look at that. Yeah. You really, you don't want it in something that holds loads of moisture. Yeah. Like, so is that why the little so stones so aerate it slightly? Yeah, so light. Cool. It feel, feels quite light. Yeah, yeah, it's really light. Like, actually, weirdly, this actually doesn't feel. Yeah, it feels pretty. I wonder what this was that we used. I think. It I think it's like regular. And maybe it was yeah. a mix of the compost and what it came in. Yeah. When you're repotting, should you replace all the soil or should you, should you put some old stuff in? Um, I think if you're really going for it, you might as well just get the new soil. Okay. But okay. You can, in the meantime, do replacing the top soil. Yes. Yeah. Okay. So to give it some new nutrients and stuff, yeah. you can just scoop out a couple of inches of the topsoil and replace yeah, exactly. it. Yeah, Cool. Right, that's, so that's a good thing just to keep them, yeah. keep, keep yeah. them happy. Because a lot of things don't need repotting that often. Really? Genuinely don't. Okay, yeah, okay. They really don't. Some things you can Small leave growth. for quite a long time. Yeah. Like even two, three, four years even. Okay, okay, yeah. But you know, it's kind of looking at your plant, you know. So, well, yeah, I knew that it was time. Are the roots coming out the bottom, you know. Do the leaves look like yeah. yeah. yellowing? Like, yeah. Is it, has it stopped growing? Yeah. yeah. You know, I've had ones on. I'm like, oh, it stopped growing. I repotted it, and I'm like, oh. Okay. Yeah. <laughs> I'm glad that it's that it's all healthy and ha oh, happy it's enough. Healthy. Yeah, really great. Oh, I need a scoop so I don't use my hand. My dad gave it's so. <laughs> really. Oh. <laughs> 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 I know. It's actually it's um, biodegradable as well. Oh. 
So if once it's done, you just stick it in the compost and it will Oh, great. Oh, so oh. we do a layer at the bottom. Yeah, just a yeah. reasonable layer there. It's really cool that you can pot straight into this. Yeah, Is it just because it's, it's really eight, cool. it breathes? It breathes and it's got the drainage hole. Yeah. It's just really helpful. It just means, yeah. you know, it helps with the watering. Yeah. Yeah. This oil takes oil. quite a lot of water though because it's quite big. So yeah. that's fine, right? I can yeah. give it a good, and then after. Yeah, really good. What you want to do is, is water really thoroughly. Yeah. When you see it coming out of the bottom. Okay, okay. Um, and, and that's when you know you've watered properly. Mm. And the great thing about the terracotta is it, it absorbs some, some of the water, water too. Yeah. So it kind of helps to yeah, control. Yeah, yeah. So, so these are quite a good solution if people are struggling with root rot in their big plants. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Stop watering as much and get a terracotta pot instead. Yeah. We've got the moss pole in the middle and we're just dropping so, the roots. Do you pack it in? Just no, so you just lift it a little bit. Oh yeah. So the, do you want me to hold the moss pole? Oh yes, please. Yeah, right. want to... Like I'm helping, I'm helping. <laughs> <laughs> and when you're usually repotting, you would do it in the studio. So someone would drop off their plants with yeah. you here and then you would like have them ready yeah, to pick them up a while later. The studio and then we'll just give you an email. Cool. We've done it. Um, we can also, if you're buying like a plant and a pot at the same time, sometimes we can cut, uh, cut it in straight away. So okay, like, cool. So you just want to make sure that you're getting the soil really like really down up. under into those that the root the, the roots, space yeah. around the roots that we've created as well. Yeah. But you don't want to pack it in. A lot of people make that mistake of like really pushing. Yeah, yeah, that's so me. we will that's push me. it more around the moss pole. Yeah. So we want it to hold in place. You want there still to be, you know, space and room because we've made this nice light, airy, you know, mixture. Yeah. And you, you don't then want to compact it. Yeah, because yeah. then you're going to get problems with it. So sometimes it's good to give it a bit of a shake to try and, you know, get it, cool. get it in. It's, this is so much better than rope, isn't it? It's a bit more gentle to the stem. Yeah, yeah. I mean, you can totally use, like, twine. And you can reuse you know. it, actually. Yeah, you can, you move can it use really whatever you want. You just don't want to ever tie them, like, too hard. Okay. It's actually uh, pretty well, like, It's not bad, is it? Like, he's yeah. going to come out. So you're just gonna have to, you don't want to force the stems yeah, yeah. onto the moss pole. Like, yeah. you know, if they're not gonna move, they're not gonna move, and that's yeah. fine. Um, so we'll just do, let's attach here. Yeah. We're gonna propagate, so tell me what the rules are again for where you want to propagate. So you want to try and look for either a little node or an aerial root. Okay. And preferably if you can find a new point of growth as well, like see just around here, there's, that's the new point of growth just under there. So if you cut just after that, yeah. that will push out another stem. Great! You don't always need to look for that, it will naturally produce one from wherever it is on the yeah. stem, but it's nice to know it's there so you know where it's grown mm. from. Yeah, definitely. Okay, great. <sighs> Best thing is you want um, really sharp, good if you can get some like little snips or secateurs. Yeah. Really, really sharp scissors because it's quite a thick. Yeah. Just make sure that they're clean so you can wipe them down with like just some alcohol or like give them a good scrub. Yeah. Is that um, in case there's an infection in the plant in case, or something? Yeah. Wow. It's, it's, you know, just means, and also yeah. just that you're not introducing any bacteria because basically yeah. you're creating like an open wound for yeah, it. Well, so, yeah. there? Uh, maybe like, yeah, there. There? Sorry. No, good for it. Awesome. <gasps> And we're going to plant this and I've got a whole other plant that's actually two really healthy looking good so, leaves. Yeah, really Water good. or sphagnum moss? Yep, you could do either. Yeah. So, so you don't you don't put this straight in soil? No. Nope. So, you put it in water. Um, you have to watch it grow first. Yeah. So you'll have the <gasps> yeah. spray out to a bunch of different roots. A decent am amount of like root system and yeah, yeah, like a decent root system. Yeah. Great. Okay, cool. Cool. Look at that. That was honestly the most fun thing I've done in ages. I was just telling the girls. But it just looks great. And then what happens, I didn't know this, just in case, these aerial roots will kind of bind themselves to the pole and then it kind of ends up holding itself up. Is that it'll right? Start to it naturally, it'll start so to grow up it naturally. Yeah, it'll think it's sort of like growing up a tree, so it will start to hook into under all of the wow. bits of the moss and grow up it basically. It uses it as an anchor, so you'll actually just have amazing. Bigger leaves as it grows up it. It's got more <gasps> it, bigger leaves. Yeah. Wow. Cannot wait. I'll show you. I'll, I'll wait till I get home and I'll show you in situ. Oh, excited dogs, because we're going out today. <laughs> uh, just to finish this week's vlog off, I want to show you how the Monstera looks. And also, oh, a sneak peek of how the room's looking. I'm going to show you all this next week. This is my pride and joy. I treated the room slash myself to this ottoman from Pure White Lines. Really cool furniture and antique shop that I found on Instagram. Um, and it's just perfect. I love it. And look at this. Oh, 
doing so good. So quite a lot of the time as well, something else I learned was plants can kind of go into shock a little bit when you repot them. So what we did is we brought it home, we flooded it, so it was pretty wet, and then you just kind of leave it for a bit to get, to get used to it, but I'm so happy. Looks absolutely massive, and this is where he's gonna live. He really likes this little area, which is great. And look at this rug. This is from Olivia's. I don't know if you remember, but a couple of weeks ago, Libby messaged me saying that we've got a rug that I really think will look amazing in your makeup room. And they sent me it. So I just love it. I've also still got my discount code, Jamie20, for 20% 20 off. Got some prints to go through. And this is actually, this is my new plant I bought at Aperso. It is Aperso, by the way. This is my new plant that I got. Oh, it's a wee bit dusty. I need to dust his leaves. But this is a pothos, a golden pothos, I think. And it's just the most amazing big trailing plant. And it was this pot, I actually, I saw this pot and I was just obsessed. So that was my new purchase when I went. This room, I'm gonna give you a proper tour next week because it's still finishing off. I need to hang some prints up, but we're really getting there. Just loving it. So you guys, that's this week's vlog. I'm just gonna leave my hair frizzy. Me and Jack are actually going to Loch Lomond today with the dogs and I'm meeting my mum and dad and my granny and granddad there. So I'm really excited. And see, whenever I'm doing anything like that, all I do with my makeup is put my brows on. Well, I just use my Benefit 24 hour brow setter and I put SPF on and that's pretty much it. And I'm gonna put on a swimming costume in case I managed to get swimming. I'm not sure if it's going to be warm enough, to be honest, but Jack's going to take the dogs a big walk while, while I sit on the beach with mum and dad for a bit. And yeah, just a really nice week. I've well, just watched the vlog and I realised that it's half like vlog and then half how to repot a plant. But if you like that, let me know. It made me really happy, actually. It made me want to, I don't know, reach out to more kind of Glasgow businesses and go and like film with them and maybe learn something. I learned loads doing that. Yeah, so I hope you liked it. And other than that, I'll see you next week. Bye. Say that again, Patrick. Say that again, funny. <laughs> Have you done this before? <laughs> I guess. <laughs> oh, you guys. <laughs> End the shot. I'll try it again. And that's the creature that haunts you at night. Look at that. I look tired today. So. <laughs> Oh, that's the stick. Oh, I was like, what on earth is happening? <laughs> Growing a stalk. Oh, look, it's a silly mirror. Oh, no, we actually look quite normal in it. Thanks, mate. Hello? Fucking hell. Did you hear that? That's so scary. <laughs> oh, my God. 